Hello everybody. Welcome to Coffee with Paji. Today we'll be talking about noodles, types of noodles and how to order them in Cantonese. I realized that a lot of noodles in America, like Chinese American restaurants, they name their noodles very differently than the ones in Asia. First off, in America, we call most of the fried noodles lo mein. Lo mein. Lo mein in Cantonese is just any noodles that's without soup. Or if you say lo mein in Circle K or 7-Eleven, it wouldn't be lo mein like mi goreng, you know, the instant noodles. Not the actual Indonesian mi goreng dish, but instant noodles, mi goreng, which is oh, delicious. I was so confused on what type of noodles it was. When it came out, it was actually more of the yao mein in Asia, or yi mein. You know, sometimes it alternates. So the different types of noodles though, in Asia, there's two types, right? There's the uh, egg type, tan min, or the rice type, mai. So egg type is the one with, it has gluten, okay? And rice type doesn't have gluten. It's naturally gluten free, let's say that. I don't know about the dishes itself, might have soy sauce and soy sauce have gluten. Let's look over the egg section. The egg section is excellent, first off. <laughs> but um, the default noodles is ac actually has a name. Can you guess? It's a thin noodles, so what would you call it? Thin noodles. Yao. No, fa <sighs> choyam is yao mean. All right, yao mean. Yao mean that's thin. Wow, yao wale. so thin. Yo sawale. That is more uh, figure speak speaking about someone's figure. But yao mean is like wow, so lean. So that's like wonton noodles, like wonton mean or any thing you add mean to, it would be that noodles. All right, that's the default. So the second one that I have in mind is cho mein. That's my favorite, by the way. I don't know, something about it. It's like, it looks like whole fun, but it's egg and it's excellent because it's cho and it's cho mein. All right, so it's like, if you like beef brisket, ngao lam, I would get ngao lam cho mein because that's the best combo. And then, um, in my opinion, and then there is the um, the one that I mentioned just now, Yao Min. Yao Min is uh, is oil noodles, it's called. But you know, it's usually I think it's, this is the one that people use for lo mein in um, Asian American restaurants. I think, all right, I'm not sure. Or chet I mean, like if you go to those um, noodle stores that you can get literally any topping you want like it comes with the paper usually and you have to like circle what you want usually that's the default noodles over there but you can choose whatever noodles as well then there is yimin which also sometimes i see as a replacement of the low main so that could also be low main here but yeah, it usually comes, you know, the mushroom one, like hoisin yi mina, like, and it always comes with mushrooms. Like, I think it just goes with it, maybe. And then there is, so, oh, gong zai mean, gong zai means doll. But I'm pretty sure it means like the like hair of a doll, like it's kind of like curly. So that's why it's gong zai mean, because gong zai yi tao, gong zai mean tao fa. Okay, but... That's instant noodles. Oh, uh, tong fun, that's the macaroni one, you know. They love having it in the morning, breakfast. Gong zai mean also sometimes they will have it in the morning. All right, on to the rice side. Rice is uh, my fun, right? The thin rice noodles. Like sing zhao chao mai. That is the Singaporean, you know, fried noodles, the famous one. And then there is ho fun, you know, ho fun is also very, um, Famous, always beef hall fun, right? 
And then there is guai tiu, that is the pad thai um, noodle. Or there's guo tiu, I think there's one called. And then there is mong fan, that's the vermicelli. And Vietnamese noodles. Uh, there's maicin. Maicin is um, it's like a specific part of China that has the noodles. They also have suna fun, which comes with potato noodles. Su fun, all right. Mm. It's like a little slimy, but it's like it's such a nice texture for potato noodles, in my opinion. So I think I covered most of the noodles. I hope, unless you can think of any more, comment below. The way the noodles is cooked. All right, how about that? So. There's different types of noodle shops, right? There's the noodle shops that only has like a boiling water type of thing, and there's like shop, uh, there's restaurants like that has a kitchen and that has like you can fry stuff, you know, like Chinese diners usually. Those places usually they have almost everything, all right. Like noodle wise, like they have fried, like you, they have stir fry stuff, um, fried stuff. You know what's funny? Stir fry. Okay, so in America we say fried. Fried is the bread things, right? That's fried. But in Chinese, like Asian American, like it's stir fry. But you know, like when you say the dishes is fried rice, you know, fried noodles. Like in in Chinese, like it's like chow mai, like chow mein, chow fan. That's that means fried, those the stir fry, like breaded fried for Chinese is za. I think it's za, like explosive. <laughs> za, za wonton la, you know, deep fried wonton. That's that. Um, and then for the way the noodles is cooked, tong mean that's noodles, like with soup. All right, like wonton tong mean. But if you don't want soup, one tan lo mean to lo lo means stir noodles in like soy sauce, like um, oyster sauce, something like that to flavor to give it flavor. But like they remove the soup. And if you're in Circle K or Seven Eleven and you say lo mean, that's the mi goreng instant noodles that they have there. Or yeah, that means like just noodles with no soup. That that's lo mean. If you're like at a place where they do serve like fried rice and stuff like that, chow mean like fried noodles, stir fry noodles in America. Um, there's two ways, all right. There's the very popular one, the beef ho fun one, is dry fried noodles. By the way, it's gone chow ngao ho. So that that's a dry type, right? The dry stir fry, but then there's the sub chow. Sub chow sounds like wet fry, right? Well, it is wet. Like it looks wet if it's um ho fun usually. But if you get sub chow ngao mean like be, okay, sub chow mean, I love beef on it. I think beef is just good with it. But sub chow ngao. Sub chow ngao yok mean. That's the crunchy. Like they fry the noodles, so the noodles becomes like crunchy, and then they add the sauce on top. Like it's so good. Like if you like saucy things and like with some little crunch like to it, mwah. Sub chow ngao mean mean. Okay, not ho. Unless you really like it saucy and like soft, then you should yeah you can get. Sub ho. Okay, that's the difference of gon chow and sub chow. All right, so that's that. I think uh, I covered most of it. Um, hot right. Let me know if this is something you like, or if you want more Cantonese, you go to the Gong Toli Gong Dong Wang Ge Wang, the Gong. Okay. Mm. We, yes, me and I are gonna meet up in New York City soon. Um, if you're watching this now, like before May 30th, May 30th till June 3rd. 
we're going to be meeting up. So if you have any suggestions on where we should meet up and have like a fan meet up, let us know because we want to meet our fans. Yeah. Are they sunky? Are they sunky? Are they fancy? Funsy? Did I even talk about Funsy? Um, that is the transparent type of noodles, by the way. Um, yeah, that's also the like nickname for fans in um, in Cantonese. Funsy. Bye bye. Bye bye. Little mail.